video will show you how to solve the problem if you are trying to download things and you end up having a full disk and you're not able to, especially if you're trying to download Loom videos to re-upload to Seesaw, for example, or into your Google Drive so you can share them directly in Google Classroom. If you're having this issue, you can come up into the top right corner of the screen to the three dots uh, on Google Chrome and go to your settings. Once you're in settings, you'll type in to the search bar at the top, downloads. And then down below, you'll see two options come up. One shows that right now, my files automatically download into my um, C. Jones downloads folder on my regular hard drive on my desktop. I could change that and that would mean that it would change the location of where all my files download. I might wanna do that. You might wanna do that, that's fine or you can change it to ask you where to save each file before downloading. And you can toggle that on. For me, I like this option because I like it when, if I'm downloading pictures or PDFs or things I need to use in the moment, I like it when they just download to my desktop and I can see them quickly. But I would like to start having it where if I wanna download something that's a large file like a Loom video, that it downloads to my O drive. And the O drive, I'll show you for an example, let's see this one. Now that I toggled that on, if I click on download, it's going to, I think, start downloading. <laughs> there we go. But instead of downloading here automatically, it opens up this box and I can choose where I want it to download. You can see this folder is totally full, but my O drive is actually a link to my OneDrive. So in Office 365 online, the digital, cloud space, my OneDrive that I have where I store all, all my other files and resources, this is a link to that on my desktop. So I can click on that and it's gonna show up, these are all the folders that I see when I'm looking at my OneDrive online. I already have started using this, so I've already created a folder called Video Downloads, but you could click on up here, New Folder, name it Video Downloads, and then you'll save the video that you're downloading into that folder. Then if you want to go and access it in Google Classroom, you'd click on add, you would click on file, upload and browse. And then from there, you again, go back to find your OneDrive, find that folder, the video downloads, and then you can click on the one that you want and it will upload it into, um, your Google Classroom or your Seesaw or wherever it is that you're wanting to post this video or into a, a Google Slides, anything like that. So that is how you can change the location of your downloads if your desktop is getting too full.